The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, High Stick NT, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. So I'm standing in a plot of Roundup Ready to extend soybeans and we're looking at evaluating multiple modes of effective action and weed management in Roundup Ready to extend soybeans or dicamba tolerant soybeans. So the first plot I'm standing here is just glyphosate alone applied as a burn down. And it was applied about four weeks ago and you can see that there are some weeds that are starting to, the secondary flushes as you would expect, there's no residual with, with glyphosate but it did take out the initial weed flush and now you're starting to see those uh, those weeds come up. If you're a farmer looking at this plot, you know you're in the critical weed-free period. You probably needed to spray this this trial about uh, you know 10 days ago, say. But as we move over to the next plot, I'm standing in a plot of Ingenia, and this is BSF's new dicamba formulation that will be available on the market for multiple crops, including Roundup Ready to extend soybeans or dicamba tolerant soybeans. You can see that you know we did we do have a little bit better weed control, but the thing to remember about dicamba is that the residual activity can be variable. It depends on soil type, the weather, as well as the amount of rainfall, the amount of breakdown. So we are four weeks after application. This is kind of you know looks better on a drier year than it does in a wet year because dicamba is very water soluble. So the residual weed control can be variable in a wetter year. You get less residual because it moves down the soil profile. In a drier year, it actually looks a little bit sharper. So the next plot I'm standing in is Ingenia plus Optil. So Optil combines two modes of action, the Kickstarter technology, as well as Pursuit for the residual weed control. And then Ingenia is the dicamba formulation. So on these Roundup Ready to extend soybeans, you can see that having multiple modes of effective action, as well as a true residual partner, will keep those beans weed free during that critical weed free period. This is great technology, this is new technology, but we wanna make sure that we adapt our weed management system so that we don't burn out this new technology and maximize its effectiveness. So having multiple modes of effective action to control some of these resistant biotypes like Canada fleabane, common water hemp, common ragweed, as well as giant ragweed, will maximize your yield potential and also decrease the selection pressure of some of these of some of these various weeds. 